Hi, my name is Chris, and I'm a Harvard Extension student in Big Data Analytics, and I'm doing my final project on Kibana. Before I get into the details of Kibana, I need to discuss Elasticsearch. And the reason for that is Kibana kind of acts as an extension to Elasticsearch, providing data discovery and visualization tools. So what is Elasticsearch? Elasticsearch is a distributed search engine platform. It acts in a similar fashion to Google or Bing. Google and Bing index or make searchable web pages. It then receives search requests, which it matches against that searchable content and finds relevant results. Similarly, Elasticsearch indexes a bunch of JSON objects. It makes the fields of those JSON objects searchable. It has a RESTful API, which provides a means of creating search queries. And it will take those search queries, compare it against the JSON objects, and produce re and retrieve relevant JSON objects that match our search query. How is it a distributed system? Well, you can take any index, which is composed of all searchable JSON objects, and bre break it down into groups. You can then provide those groups to different computers that can do the searching simultaneously. Once the results are found on each computer, it can be pre-aggregated and brought back to the initial requesting node. That initial requesting node can then pass the results back to the end user that requested it. How does Elasticsearch work? Let's take an example. Let's say I'm a business analyst and I'm really interested in restaurants that have free Wi-Fi and also contain pizza somewhere in the profile. So for example, maybe pizza is part of the name of the restaurant, Joey's Pizza, or potentially it's a category that was associated with that restaurant. So under categories, it might have a pizza tag. We end up taking that uh, search that we're interested in codifying it into an Elasticsearch query. That Elasticsearch query we can attach to a RESTful API call. When we do that call, what it actually does is it redirects to one of the Elasticsearch nodes, which then takes command and acts as a coordinator for the rest of the system. That Elasticsearch node has a hash table, which tells it where all of the result sets live throughout the whole network. So what it will do is it will figure out where those search results live, and then send messages out, broadcasting that it needs results. The, once it broadcasts, it is sent out. The other nodes are informed that they need to start beginning their searches. So how does this occur? Well, each of those nodes are actually under the cover Lucene. And Lucene has a very interesting system. It's based on the inverted index model, which is it has all of the terms listed with all of the documents that match it. So it just kind of looks up what documents make sense for that specific search. And then it takes that, those documents, aggregates them on a higher level, and then sends it back to the initial requesting node. Now this all happens asynchronously. So some of those nodes might get the results quicker than others. But once all of the results are back to the in initial requesting node, it aggregates that and passes it back on to the end user. So in our case, after this whole process of requesting for pizza-based restaurants with free Wi-Fi, it would go through the network, find all the results for us, and then at the end of the day, it just returns it to us as a JSON object. What is Kibana and its relationship to Elasticsearch? Kibana is a data discovery, visualization, and dashboarding tool. It kind of acts as a client or front-end tool to the Elasticsearch cluster. It's composed of three specific components. Each one typically gets used sequentially. So the first one is Discover, which if we were a business analyst would be a very useful, useful component to us. It allows us to connect to an index and explore it. We can filter on certain fields, uh, search the whole document for specific words, get a sense of what specific fields have. It, it, it's a bit basic exploratory tool, a uh, data exploratory tool. Uh, Visualize allows us to take the queries that we typically build and discover and ask deeper questions. So for that analyst, if we were looking at pizza throughout the whole document and we had all the pizza joints that had free Wi-Fi, how many of those are four-star restaurants? What's the composition behind all star restaurants? Can we create a visualization in the form of a histogram to represent that? 
how many of those restaurants are dressy versus casual restaurants? Um, do most of them have full bar access or not uh, in terms of alcohol? So we can create all these fancy visualizations uh, within the visualize component. The final part is the dashboarding component, which allows us to take all those visualizations we produce and visualize and present them on a single canvas. Some really neat features of dashboards is that they can interact with each other. The visualizations within the dashboard can interact with each other. So if we have stars within one query and stars in another, we can click on star, we can click on three star restaurants and it will typically filter the whole thing. Now, when I mentioned Kibana being kind of reliant on Elasticsearch, that's a, a kind of typical fact about this system. Kibana attaches itself or connects to Elasticsearch and then requires that index structure to really function properly.